time at college, continuing with the insulation resistance fault here on the power circuit, what we're doing is using the half split method. If I had to separate the circuit at the CCU, that's why the cables are disconnected. Normally you could do this test with the cables all connected. Also, I've split the circuit in half in the midpoint. So if you had 100 sockets, you would go to socket 49 or 50 and take the mid socket off and disconnect the two conductors that were defective. So in this case, I've disconnected the two phase stroke lag conductors. Want to test light one at the CCU? As the circuit split, what I've found is going in the anti clockwise direction, there's no fault on the circuit. So, what that tells me is the cables going this way, coming here, including this conductor, are non defective. However, I'm now going to the opposite leg of the ring final circuit and hopefully find the fault but eliminating half of the circuit. So, I'll test here. As you see, I've got a reading of 0 mega ohms. So, what that tells me is from the CCU going around the circuit anti clockwise. That was a fault, as it happens there's only one socket here where the fault can be, so the fault is behind this first socket. This process would be used if you had a hundred sockets where you would repeatedly split the circuit into half, then half again, and then half again, until you narrowed the fault down to be between two points where you may have to replace a cable.